Hey, Curry Mark Hatmaker here. Let's, uh, I'm going to give you away, give away a little bit of a clip of the e nicest thing we're doing on one aspect of the uh, overall. We've got so many things, lumberjack kicking, uh, you know, uh, battle rail, uh, floating cages, uh, frontier, uh, trade knife, uh, groundwork, obviously. But one of the things we're doing in the hell, up, upright hellacious is we're working really hard with the street single under the and not the sport with us. And uh, we're talking about the different ways to get into it. We work from the outside in. Uh, one of the things we do, uh, we're, we're showing is how to do it from a, uh, that street collar and elbow, which we're not going to stick around in, uh, in a collar and elbow clinch. Uh, and this is actually the nicest thing that we, we're doing. Gonna, so we'll, we'll kind of give away the candy. Kind of let me bring it in here, please. If we do a standard collar and elbow, which means uh, we're in neutral position, right hand uh, on the neck, her right hand on the neck, and left hand for the outside, uh, left hand is over the arms like this. So far, this looks like the standard, except we might go ear to ear, trying to be driving each other around, bullying everything, of course. My hand's upright because we're yakety yakety yak, and nobody's wearing mouthpieces or anything like that. Okay, that that version of it, we don't we don't do that kind of clinch here. This, the collar and elbow clinch that we do here is we both run to the inside. It means we'll be 50-50 here with two hands on the head, and then the other hand runs to the inside. All right, it feels like there's less control out of it because over here you can feel like I can really pull this arm and drive him around. Really, we always want this inside position because we're always thinking ahead of striking and all this. We always want the big, hairy, and mighty uh, uh, straight single under hook here. So I'm not even pulling hard or anything. This is just trying to maintain this position for a moment. Again, this is one frame of that motion picture combat. 32 frames per second, one frame to give us our reference point here. Now, I want that single underhook, which means I want to, whether it's a duck under or a single underhook, I want to, I want to get around to this side. But the thing is, to get there, I'm, I'm not saying everyone, but some people, Flare to get there and to make that flare happen is uh, don't let me uh, lift that arm for you. They're going to lift in here and descend the motion to come up underneath. Now, to get underneath, there might be super slow, don't let me have it. I'm going to have to lift a little bit and then do a lot of motion and do uh, maybe hit a knee for the duck hunter. Nothing wrong with that, but there's easier ways to do this sort of thing. I, all I need is wedge exposure. I need this elbow to come out, right? It doesn't have to be that far, just enough for me to get to a good underhook position drive my head in here, let her eat that fake headbutt that I accidentally meant to do. I'm not going to run all the way and bash her head or anything like this, but rather than me flaring, I do nothing with the left hand. What the right hand does is it's going to come off her neck about two to three inches. I'm going to leave that part out because uh, uh, we're married and I'll hear about it forever because it does it will give you a headache. But it comes off two or three inches and it will come back. So this is the back of her head. It comes off this much and then it comes back with a little bit, a little bit of a like that. Not that hard, but enough just to give a little bit of a shot. The other thing it does, I'm just going to have a static pull here, is I'm going to pull her uh, about 45 over here, meaning I'm going to put her head into uh, my hip pocket. Not the front pocket, not over there, into this hip pocket. And that's, uh, why would I do that? No pressure here. Watch this elbow, okay? I pull the head, there's the underbow. That's what we're talking about. I do no lifting whatsoever. We don't fight with this. Anything we're doing, all I have to do is pull in the head. You go ahead and get out of here, Chanel. So it's to open up that underhook, and that's what your bullying should really be about. It's not trying you lifting this up, because think about it. if you're fighting with your elbow, what are you doing? You are exposing that area right there, giving them the underhook or the duck under. So your job instead is to work on the head, maintain and ride the inside position, and you know, juke and jive on that head. You can run that back and forth, find what side gives you uh, the most bang for your buck, set that single underhook, or duck under if that's the thing that floats your boat and go from there. Uh, the other things we, that's just one of the things we're doing with this uh, what, what, Raw 220 to like Box 7 is uh, we, talk, uh, we talk about buck saw drags and the real way to drag which is how to make someone light with one phone. Alright, uh, but uh, see that stuff you got to pony up. Have a good one, crew.